and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of read code and geeks or geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. Today's problem is set matrix zeros which is marked as a medium level problem and is a very very important interview problem as well. So let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So basically we will be given one 2D array of integer type and its name will be mat and uh, what we have to do is pretty simple. If that suppose uh, on this in this whole matrix if at any element if any element is zero if any element is zero in this whole 2d array i will mark that row and that column as zero i will mark like suppose uh, here you can see this is zero so this zero is at row number one and column number one row number one and column number one so what i will do i will mark all elements of row one as zero all elements of row one as zero something like this and all column of all elements of a column one all elements of column one as zero as well okay something like this and uh, there are no other zeros so yeah pretty much it and we will simply uh, return the matrix so we don't need to return the matrix because we know that matrix is a uh, parsed arrays are passed by reference so it will change the original array as well okay all right so this will be our output very very simple pretty basic it is uh, explanation let's see one more ex uh, example as well this 0 1 2 0 3 4 5 2 and there are two zeros so first of all this is one zero so what i will do is mark this first row mark this first row and first column as zeros okay so this will be marked as zero this will be marked as zero uh, this will be marked as zero this will be marked as zero and suppose this is also zero this column uh, last column is also having zero so this whole uh, last column whole last column will be marked as zero as well and this will be our output this will be our output pretty much it and i hope it will be clear as well so what we have to do if at any element if an any element in this whole 2d matrix 2d array is zero so that elements row and that elements column that elements row and that elements column will be marked as zeros and we will simply uh, return and that's it that's it so i hope the problem statement will be clear now how we can do it now let's move on to the uh, approach which we are going to take so first approach which is a brute force as well which comes in my mind is very very simple what i will do i will simply make a new 2d array i will simply make a new 2d matrix okay and uh, what i will do is simply iterate over the given matrix and uh, if any row and any column is zero mark it as zero and uh, mark that whole row and mark that whole column as zeros and after that fill the whole matrix fill the whole matrix and that's it so yeah this much uh, we can do and we will simply get our goal our uh, objective of this problem but we if you will see the problem it's clearly written do it in constant space complexity we cannot have we cannot have um, take we cannot take extra array we cannot take extra array okay so this uh, approach which we discussed is not correct is not optimized and we have to optimize it and one more thing which we will see here is uh, if you will go to the constraints i will see that n into m is 500 and uh, to iterate over a matrix it takes basically n into m so 500 into 500 is uh, what 25 0 0 0 0 so uh, these many zeros okay so we cannot have a nested so basically one nested loop will be there to iterate over the matrix and we cannot have a one more nested loop inside it okay otherwise it will be something like this time complexity and it will give me time limit x okay all right so there cannot be uh, there can only be one nested loop to iterate over the whole matrix that's needed and not anymore okay all right so now what approach we have to take i hope till this point you guys are with me and uh, everything is clear till this point okay now what approach should i take all right so uh, if at somehow somehow i can mark if somehow i can iterate over this whole oh, iterate over this whole matrix and can mark that okay yeah this column is having zero this row first let's suppose uh, first row is having zero and uh, third column is having zero so after that it will be very very simple after i on iterating this matrix again on iterating this matrix again what i will do make all the zero, uh, make all the elements of row 1 as 0 make all the elements of row 1 as 0 and make all the columns of uh, row 3 as 0 make all the elements of column 3 as 0 and that's it so that this we can achieve but how can we mark it how can we mark it Ki, yeah, this row contains zero or this column contains zero that's very very important nah? so for that what i will do is suppose this is our matrix this is our matrix what i will do is i will simply mark i will simply mark what if 
I get the zero. I will mark that starting column, the zero column, first column as zero, and that row as zero as well. That row as zero as well. Okay. All right. So now look. Now look. Very very easy it is. This row is marked as this row is marked as zero. This column, starting column of uh, first column is marked as zero. Why? Because first row is having one zero and first column is having one zero. Okay. All right. We are good till this point. And after that, what I will do on iterating this whole array again, on iterating this whole array again, I will check. Ki suppose this much I will iterate. Okay. Why? I will tell you. So from one to one, for i equal to one and for j equal to one, I will iterate over this whole array and I will check. Ki if yeah, j equal to one is there. So if uh, j equal to one and i equal to zero. Like something like okay, if uh, uh, this row contains zero, so if starting is zero, if starting is zero, so yes, it contains zero. If starting column or starting row contains zero, so what I will do, I will make this whole array as zero and this as zero as well. Okay, all right. After that, again, I will move on and uh, check the. Uh, it is not zero, so we are good with it. Okay, so in this way we will do. I hope uh, a little bit it will be clear, but uh, let's see more so that you can understand more. A new example. Let's take it. So basically, okay. So basically, take this. No, 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 no. Let's take one more example. One, two, three, four, and let's mark this as zero, and let's fill all the things. One, two, one, one. Two, three, four. Yeah, let's say two only. Okay, all right. So what will be the output of this? Look, I will iterate. First of all, what I will do, I will simply iterate over this whole matrix. I will simply iterate over this whole matrix. When I will get a zero, when I will get a zero, what I will do, I will simply mark that. Look, for this, the row is one, row is one, and column is two. Zero indexed. Zero indexed. If I will talk, so this is zero row. And this is one row, so this is one row. Okay, all right. So in this way, what I will do, I will mark, I will mark first element of row one, first element of row one as zero. So this will be marked as zero. Okay, and column is two, so first element of column two as zero as well. First element of column two is this, so this will be marked as zero as well. Okay, all right. Now again, there are no zeros more, so I will not do anything more. I will iterate over this whole matrix, and that's it. After that, what I will do, I will simply iterate over this much. Matrix. This much matrix is basically for i equal to one and j equal to one. Start from i equal to one and j equal to one. Now you will be thinking why i equal to one and j equal to one. Please wait a minute. I will explain that as well. So i equal to one, j equal to one. I iterate over this whole matrix and simply check if i zero, if i and uh, zero column is zero, or zero row and j column is zero. Something like i zero or 0j if any one of this is 0 so make this make that element as 0 okay all right so let's see how so basically 3 i will go i will reach 3 first of all so i will check ki yeah 3 0 3 row and 0 column no no sorry not not 3 this is one row first column this is one row one column i equal to 1 j equal to 1 if it will be so in that case uh, i will get 3 so i will check ki yeah 1 0 i is 1 here so 1 0 is 0 yes 1 0 is 0 so mark that element as 0 okay all right Move to next. It is already zero, so no issues. Move to this two. This two is what? If I will mark this, I break it down. So row one and column three. Row one and column three. Okay, all right. Now check row one and column zero. I is zero. Yes, it is zero. It is zero. Okay. So what I will do? I will mark this as zero as well. Very very easy it is. I hope it will be very very easy. And uh, after that, after that again move to this two. Move to this two. Now again check this two. If I will break it down, it is row two and column one. Row two and column one. So check row two and zero. Is this zero? No, it is not zero. Is row zero column one zero one? Is zero? No, it is also not zero. So it will remain two as it is. Okay, all right. Now again, I will move to this one. So this one, if I will break it down, it is something like second row and second column. Second row and second column. So two zero, two zero. Is this zero? It means two zero basically means ki. Second row and zero column. This one. Second row and zero column. Is this zero? No. Okay. All right. After that. After that, again check. Uh, zero row and second column. Zero row and second column. This. Is this zero? Yes. So what I will do? I will mark this one as zero as well. Okay. All right. Again, I move to this one, and uh, again we will break it down. So basically, breaking it down basically means ki uh, two row and three column. Two row and three column. Is this uh, both conditions will fall false here? So I will not touch it, and this will be our desired output. 
this will be our desired output okay all right so we will simply return this so in this way we are going to approach it in this way we are going to approach it but there is one issue here and one question you will ask ki why are we starting from i equal to 1 and j equal to 1 this is first question and second question is second question is very very simple what if there is a zero in the first row only what if there is a zero in the first row or what if there is a zero in the first column because look here i am getting this zero so what i am doing i am not making this whole row as zero i am not making this whole row as zero because this zero is pointing ki something below has zero okay but there can be a zero here as well this can be zero as well and in that case i have to make this whole row as zero in that case i have to make this whole row as zero but how can i identify how can i identify ki uh, this zero is not initially zero for this first row and it is something like below 10 which is marked as here i hope i hope till th this point is very very clear to you i am trying to explain it so uh, let's move to one more edge case one more test case and we will uh, okay all right now let's see another example and the test case so here you can see there are three zeros zero zero and zero okay all right there are three zeros now let's see how are we going to approach this but before that i am going to take one more uh, flag here let's say uh, that flag name is call zero let's say that flag name is call 0 and it will be currently false but but if i will get any column as 0 if i will get any column let's say uh, first column if i will get any 0 uh, in the first column i will make it as true okay all right if i will get any 0 in the first column i will make it as true okay all right simply iterate over this whole matrix and uh, first of all one is there so i don't need to do anything after that zero is there zero is there so what i need to do mark that Uh, column and that rows first element as zero okay so this is already first element of this uh, column so don't do anything but this is not element of first element of this row so mark first element of this row as zero so this is marked as zero okay all right now again move on 5 4 don't do anything 2 don't do anything zero again so what i will do again mark that elements mark that columns first element and that rows first element as zero okay so that columns first element is already zero and that rows first element will be now made as zero okay all right so this will be made as zero as well all right uh, moving on now 3 is there 5 is there again here you can see i got that zero okay i get this zero this zero is what first columns any element is zero first columns any element is zero yes i got it so now this flag will be made as true now this flag will be made as true okay all right and now i will not do anything more i will not do anything like mark that first element as a uh, first row element first column element as zero no if it is first columns zero so just mark this flag as true okay all right so after that i get one i get two i get three so we don't need to do anything first step is completed first step is completed okay all right after that if you remember in the second step what i told simply iterate from this one to one simply iterate from this one to one here so this is zero okay so this if this is zero we don't need to do anything if this is 3 this is 3 so what i will do if you remember i told what i will do check ki if that's uh, if i will break this down row is 1 and column is 2 row is 1 and column is 2 so if first row and zeroth column is 0 yes it is yes it is so simply make this as 0 okay all right after that again we i will get to 5 so if uh, break it down 1 and 3 i is equal to 1 and uh, j is equal to 3 so just check ki if um, first row first row and uh, uh, zero first row and zeroth column is zero yes so mark this as zero as well okay all right now similarly check here so it is one uh, but uh, yeah so it is one but i need to make it zero as well because its first column is zero okay so make this as zero as well something like this all right now uh, this whole is done but i still need to do i still need to operate on this first row and first column i try i need to operate on this first row and first column so how i will operate just check for this first row for this row i will check if this is zero if i is, if 0 0 matrix 0 0 is true matrix 0 0 is zero then only if matrix 0 0 is 0 then only mark that whole row as zero then only mark that whole row as zero okay so 0 0 this will be marked as zero and this will be marked as zero why only first why only check this because look these can be also marked as zeros these can also be marked as zeros when any element below them are zero when any element below them are zero okay so also then also this can be marked as zero so if this is marked as zero doesn't mean whole row should be zero i hope this point is very very clear to you why i am doing this okay so here you can see this first row and first column 
zero zero is zero. Then only mark that whole row as zero. Okay, all right. And now uh, for this column, I will check that if my call zero is zero, if my call zero is true, it means there is any zero in this whole column, and I need to make that whole column as zero. So I will mark that whole column as zero. Okay. So yeah, here you can see all the elements have become zero. So yeah, that is it. Okay. All right. I hope it will be very very clear to you the problem explanation and our approach as well. So let's move on to the code section then. But before that, if you have loved the explanation. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video because it will really motivate me a lot. And uh, share down your comments as well, what you liked and what you will want me to improve as well. So now let's move on to the code section. Then, int r is equal to mat dot length, and uh, c is equal to mat zero dot length. Okay, and after that, if you remember, I told one flag as well, um, boolean. Let's say first call zero uh, let's mark it as more give it a more meaningful name is first call zero and currently it is false okay all right so now if you remember first step what i will do i will simply iterate over whole of this uh, matrix j equal to zero um, j is less than c j plus plus and and i will simply check ki if matrix of i j is equal to 0 i will do something okay what something i will do if if my j is equal to 0 if my j is equal to 0 it means yeah it is first column it is first column so if it is first column what i told i will simply make this flag as true i will simply make this flag as true and not do anything else not do anything else why i think i have already explained it because it will uh, uh, make disturbance in uh, checking ki if i have to make that whole column as zero or not okay to identify okay otherwise otherwise what i will do i will simply do mat i 0 is equal to 0 and mat 0 j is equal to 0 okay all right these two steps i will do and i think it is very very reasonable as well so now moving on after this for loop ends here after this for loop ends here what i told i will iterate over i equal to 1 i is less than r i plus plus like from first row not zeroth row first row and first column uh, guys i want to cooperation and very very uh, concentration here because i have already explained this once so i want you to be very very attentive now look uh, i will start from first row and first column not zeroth row zero column because zeroth row and zeroth column i will check separately okay why i have already told you so very very simple it is as i told if matrix of i 0 is equal to 0 or or matrix of 0 j is equal to 0 it means i have to i it means this is my mark it means this is my mark and i have to make that whole row as zero whole uh, row as zero so for that first of all i will make that element as zero mat ij equal to zero and this i and j will keep on changing so whole row and whole column will become zero accordingly okay all right so after that after that what i need to do i need to only operate now on first row and first column so if you remember what i told ki if matrix of 0 0 is equal to Zero. Then only I will make first row as zero. Then only I will make first row as zero. So if it is zero, int i equal to zero. I think I have said zero here a thousand of times. So please forgive me for that. And i plus plus something like this. Okay. All right. So I, it will iterate over this whole columns and uh, my row will be zero. So matrix of zero and i. Will be equal to zero. So it's like many times zero. I am saying, and similarly now I have to operate on first column. First column. When I will make the first column as zero, if is first call zero is true, then for int i equal to zero, i is less than r, i plus plus. Now rows will change and column will be zero only. So mat of i uh, zero is equal to zero. That's it, guys. That's it. So I have first of all marked all the zeros here. and after that operated on from starting first row and first column and then uh, zeroth row and zeroth column are handled separately okay all right let's compile and run this guys i have already explained line by line code of this so please subscribe the channel i think i have done some mistake here at one point i have written matrix instead of mat let's correct this so please subscribe the channel and like the video and share your valuable feedbacks as well i think it is 
compiling successfully let's try to submit this and i have uh, made a very cool chrome extension for you uh, you this link you will get in the pinned comment check this out with which with this uh, extension you can watch the youtube tutorials on geeks for geeks screen only okay all right let me show you by clicking as well once so when i will click on this watch tutorial button the uh, I can watch the explanations here only. Okay. All right. So yeah, that was it. It is getting accepted and I got this in first attempt only. And please subscribe the channel, like the video. And I hope you have enjoyed this session. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.